um, today is Tuesday on crime. Um, I'm posting this one later. Um, warning, this story I'm going to tell you is very, very graphic. Okay? If y'all guys can't handle super graphic stories, then click out. Today is the story of Junko Frinka, Friska, Frink. I can't pronounce her last name, I'm sorry. So, it was told by her parents that she was a very lovely, she was a beautiful girl. I'm not gonna lie, she was a beautiful girl. Um, so I'm just gonna get on and get into today's case. So, Hiroshi. I'm probably gonna put a picture up here, I might, I don't know. Hiroshi was like... Thought, so Junko was very popular in high school. Okay, she was very very popular. You know, and um, when the boys named Hiroshi was like, "Hey, I like this about her." So she, so he asked Junko out, and Junko, being the smart girl that she is, you know, she said no. She rejected him. He did not like this at all. So, it turns out Hiroshi was involved with the Chinese Mafia. That's very important in this story. You'll see why in a minute. Um, so, one day, as Juko was riding her bike home from work, Hiroshi decides, he's at the park with him and his buddies or doing something or whatever. He's like, hey, I want you to go over there and knock Juko off her bike. You know... And I'll, I'll walk her home or something. So that's what he did. The friend took to knock Juko off her bike. And Ju and Hiroshi's like, hey, I'll walk you home. That was the last time Juko was ever saw again. So, instead of taking her home, they took her to a place where they um raped her. The, and the friends that took her bike joined, and I guess they all gang-raped her. So then after they gang-raped her, they took Juko back to Hiroshi's house, and it only got worse from there. So, you know, they take her back and, um, take home to... Hiroshi's parents thought, hey, oh, this must be their son's girlfriend. So, yeah, and then... Juko's parents realized, hey, our daughter's not home. She usually got home around 8, so they called the police. And the boys were like, hey, we knew this was going to happen here. Call your parents. So she called her parents and basically said, hey, I ran away. That was the end of that. The parents did not look any further. So then Hiroshi's parents were like, maybe she's being held captive so they're asked their son hey about this girl and he basically told them to mind their business and that was the end of that their par her his parents were scared of him his parents were scared of her of him of him so anyway they um would do horrible shit to you Junko. They um, ripped one of her nipples off and they pierced the other one. They shoved a bottle up her vagina and a light bulb up her anus. They um, they tied her up. They raped her. This this torture lasted 44 days. 44 days has lasted. So I'm gonna continue. Um. One time, Juko tried to call the police. They didn't like it, so they would beat the shit out of her. Just horrible, horrible things to this girl. And then, um, then Hiroshi. So it got so bad that they they couldn't touch her. They were mad because they couldn't touch her because she started smelling really bad down there, like decomposing. So, they, um, killed her. They disposed of her body. They put her in an oral, oral drum. And she was never seen. 
So they dispose of her. They get another girl. Try, I guess, rape her. Try to rape her, but it didn't work. So then during the trial, they were, um, they were convicted of another murder, not Juko's murder, until one of the boys confessed, hey, we killed this girl named Juko, we did all this shit to her, we know where she is, we can find her. That's what they did. So they were all arrested. One of the boys went on to live a normal ass life. Yeah, um, you end up raping somebody and you have a normal life. Yeah. Um, they all since been released. This happened like 19, so I, I don't know what year. It happened a long time ago, but then, um, she, uh, another boy went and tried to see, like, they got away with murder, basically. So, you know, one man was like, beating the shit out of someone because they thought that they were talking to his girlfriend at the time and um the boy's mother decided to vandalize Junko's grave and say and basically was like oh you you ruined my son's life if it wasn't for you he would have he would be a perfect gentleman and all that and ruin decided to ruin her grave so yeah they all been they all since been released. I don't know if they're all alive or dead now. I believe they would be dead now. So, yeah. Um, I hope y'all guys enjoyed that story. This one was on the top of my noggin. You know, I did research. There will not be any um, clips. Because I couldn't find any. I tried and... Um, if you look her up, her body was horrible. It was horrible. She didn't even look like a person. Let me tell you. It, it, it was horrible. It was horrible. Um, Yeah, tell me if you guys like videos like this. Um, leave a comment. Um, Till next Tuesday. Bye, guys.